Sadly, as I make this video, I'm on call, which means no beer for me today. But I figure it would be a good time to give uh, some respect to the national drink of the UK. But I guess having a pub mat is close to having a, a beer. It's close I'm going to get anyway. So, today's project. Remember these guys? These are balloon sticks from that I got from a uh, mailbag a couple of weeks ago. And I am going to use them to make another train car load similar to that one. Which is also made out of balloon sticks. Um, but those ones are, are, well, I got them from a local craft store. Um, these ones are super duper cheap. They're thinner. Um, they're not, like, they're lighter gauge. But they're also a little bit thinner in diameter. So there's going to be a bit of variety. And I think I will put them on a bulkhead flat car instead of that uh, open deck flat car. Um, and I think I'm going to go with a little bit shorter length. These ones are about 45 feet in scale. I think I'm going to go with two stacks of 20 foot long pipes, which will be that long there. So one and two stacks on the bulkhead flat car. To cut these things to length, I'm going to use a really cool tool that I haven't used in a while. This is a thing from a company called North Shortland Shortland called uh, The Chopper. And basically it is a single edge razor blade in a handle that is held precisely at 90 degrees to this, uh, this fence here. And it's got a couple of little screw, a set screw hold downs so you can put this stop at the end. So I'll just find my 20 feet, which is there. I'll clamp this guy down about there. Now then, I think I should be, yeah, this is thin enough that I can do that. And yeah, it distorts it a little bit, but it's not horrible. So I'm just going to go through and cut up a bunch of lengths out of the straight parts. I'm just going to sort of pay attention to where the bend in the, in the uh, piece of plastic pipe is and sort of ignore that. Twenty-nine. Okay. I may need more than that. I may have to uh, take some of these slightly bent ones and warm them up and try and straighten them. I'm going to need some lumber to put in the stack just to separate the layers so that a forklift can get in there and also just to hold them all together as a unit. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I'm just going to chop this lumber down. This lumber came from a guy that was selling scale lumber at a craft show and he was targeting his business at the dollhouse hobby. But I mean, small lumber is small lumber. Those stakes were bugging me being that thick so I found some little bit skinnier lumber in my collection. I think this is going to work better. Yeah, I like that better. That looks a little bit, uh, a little bit more to scale. The heavier lumber in there is still uh, appropriate though, because uh, it's got to be big enough to get a forklift forks in there. So I think we should be okay. I'm just gonna glue them in with some full strength white glue. Nothing too fancy. They're also not too particular about how exactly straight those are. Because in the real world, they're more in a hurry than act, than concerned about precise straightness. They just want them to hold. That's all they really need. So that's all I'm going to do too. Okay. I'll let those guys dry for a while, and in the meantime. And I'll have, I think I'm going to need these ones as well, so I'm going to just use a heat gun and take the bend out of them a little bit, I think. So the next thing to do is, obviously, these pipes can't be bright white. But what color should they be? The obvious answer is to look at the internet and see what it says. 
So kind of rusty red looks like a reasonable color, and that's sort of what the ones that I've already got look like. That one's also rusty red. Rusty red, rusty. Those ones look more black, which is interesting to me. Those ones also look fairly black, and they're on a bulkhead. And then there's these ones. And that also gives me a good detail of how he's how they're holding them down, especially slightly smaller pipes. Um, they're using metal banding to hold them down. And these ones go right to right side to side to the stakes. My load isn't going to mostly because they don't have enough pipes. I might make one in the future bigger. I'm not sure. But it looks like most of them are strapped together somehow. Um, this one's got a piece of chain wrapped around the top, but there's still some strapping between the pipes. That one's strapped down. So is that one. So is that one. So I think I'm going to use something that looks like metal strapping to hold them down too. Um, but I'm liking that look of the uh, of the color. Uh, kind of an off, kind of a dark grayy black kind of thing, I guess. I think I can do that. Paint that I'm going to use is out of this Polyscale uh, weathering set, actually. Um, yeah, Polyscale was bought by testers at this time. And I'm going to use the grimy black, which is this one. I've shaken it by hand a little bit, but as you can see, I think it's still not very well mixed up because I'm going to have to use my custom designed uh, patent pending fancy super duper paint shaker machine all right so i have threaded up the sticks onto or the the pipes i guess onto these uh bamboo cooking skewers of course from the dollar store and i've got out my high-tech super duper spray paint booth absolutely custom and i've got out my airbrush to paint these things and so i will put the mixed paint in here and just go for it then it is the next day the glue has dried on these stakes the paint has dried on these pipes so we can carry on uh, there's a couple of spots where there's a little bit of white showing that's okay i'll just put that facing down nobody will know if you hadn't noticed by now my style of modeling and well, projects in general went for hobbyist use anyways is uh, close enough is good enough if it looks the part from you know arm's length then that's all you really need so what i'm going to do is just put a little dot of glue in a line on top of these guys and set the blocking on there I'll just repeat that across. So you notice I've got the kind of white shiny bits, the oopsie bits facing up right now. So I'm just building the bottom skid right now. And I'll, uh, I'll flip it over to add the rest of the, the uh, rest of the stack and carry on in a bit. This is going to be a little bit time consuming, not for you guys, because I'm going to edit it, but uh, waiting for the glue to dry is going to take a little bit of time. So I'll just show you bits and pieces. You'll get the idea, I'm sure. You're relatively clever people. Okay, time shall pass. So I miscounted a little bit, which is kind of a good thing. Is I've actually got enough for 10 
stacks of four rather than eight. Well, almost ten. Um, I'm short one, so I've taken a couple of the off-cut pieces that don't quite fit and just quickly painted them up, you know, some of these pieces here. And they're not quite the right length, but I think they're close enough that I can hide them in the middle of a stack and nobody will be the wiser. Yeah, I think this will work. And if you don't tell anybody, nobody will know. Okay, good drying. So one thing that I've noticed as these things are just sitting here drying and I'm watching them is that I think there is going to be a little bit of the white visible in the ends of these. So that's not ideal. So I'm just going to take some of this craft paint and a Q-tip that I've kind of peeled some of the some of the fuzz off. And I'll just sort of touch up the inside of the ends of those. So that hopefully they won't look quite so glaringly white when they're done. Okay, I think they have dried enough. You can still see a little bit of white glue in there, but they're they're still holding together. Uh, that I can start trying to stack them up. Um, but one thing that I remember from seeing the prototype pictures is there's lots of strapping holding these things together. So... I am going to use this stuff. This is chart pack uh, drafting tape or pressure sensitive tape. Um, it is basically, well, there's, there's a piece of it there. Um, it, it measures about what, two or three inches across in HO scale. So that should be uh, pretty reasonable to uh, represent metal banding holding these things on, I think. But I'm also going to glue them in place. The uh, the strapping is just going to be, you know, to to represent the strapping. But I still need it there, and it's probably going to do some holding as well. You notice I'm hiding that one that's got the gap in it on the bottom of the pile, and I've decided that this one here and I think this one are the two best looking ones. So they're going to go on the top of the piles. I'll just set them back there for now. So now that that is sitting there, I'm going to take a chunk of this. Now this stuff, I don't know where you'd buy it today. I got it at a draft, an old school drafting supply shop that was uh, selling off an awful lot of their non-digital drafting supplies. Ooh, I have to be careful because that is ripping the paint. So I'm going to have to do this just one and done. Do you get the idea? It doesn't have to go all the way around the bottom because nobody's going to see that. So each layer is going to get a couple of sets of those. And then to hold it down to the deck, if you remember from the... Uh, from the prototype pictures, there's just one that goes above the top or in between the first two layers and straps down to the stake pockets on the car. Kind of like that. But I'm not going to strap that on there right now. So I'm just going to stack these up like that and uh, yeah. And there is one stack of pipes, which will land somewhere in there. I'll build the second stack, and uh, yeah, we're just about done here. And there is a tether stack. I think that's about where they're going to go, too. So now I just have to figure out how to get the straps across there 
make them look like they're actually going all the way through. Actually, I probably should have them go all the way through, shouldn't I? Can I get that down through there? Yes. I'll figure it out. Well, actually, I'll just stick it back to itself. That's not bad. Okay, there's two. Anyway, something like that. And there is one of my two loads of pipes. No, just repeat with the other stack. And I think we're pretty much done. Oh, okay, there is all the strapping on. And a certain amount stuck to my fingers too. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that stuff, but whatever. So, um, wondering, I think maybe I'm going to just to add a little bit of interest, I'm going to put some strapping left over from the last load that was on this car because they're going to cut it off, right? And it's going to probably just land they'll just maybe drop it there get off why won't it stick to the deck but it will stick there there's a couple of leftover pieces of that i think maybe there might be a leftover piece of lumber from a previous load maybe I don't know, I think that looks reasonable. Let's put this up on the track with its brother and just take a look at the final product. Well, that was fun. It's been quite a while since I've done a motor railroading project on the channel. Um, yeah, that was, uh, was kind of cool to do. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, questions and comments down below as usual. And I will talk to you later.